Hey everyone, Fox here. Welcome to another week of the UPBA. We are playing against uh, Talon and he is the coach of the Alana Braviaries. He honestly has one of the most difficult teams for us to deal with. He has Halucha, for which we have no switch-ins at all. Like, I mean at all. Uh, he has Aegislash, which we have a difficult time dealing with, especially if it's like physical bandit. We have a really difficult time dealing with that. Um, Indeedy is kind of annoying for us to deal with, especially if it has Trick. Um, he has some really tough ones to deal with for us, to be fair. Um, if his Nidoking King is Rocks, that's annoying, but we have Boots on both our Rock weak mons, so that's okay, I guess. I'm just going to press A. Good luck, have fun to Talon. Um, we kind of had a misunderstanding about when we were going to play. Um, oh, and he has Vaporeon. Vaporeon is an absolute bitch for us to deal with. Um, but he made it work, so he's a, he's a G for that. Um, he brings Halucha and Didi, Rotom, which I'm surprised to see. Tangela, I get for the, the Excadrill. Um, Vaporeon for the Primarina, I guess, but I'm just gonna set up with my Primarina on his Vaporeon if I can. And Aegislash, which is no surprise to see at all. Um, let's see what's a good lead. He doesn't bring Dom, which is amazing, because Dom... I lost to a Dom, yeah, like, endgame a lot. So, seeing no Dom is absolutely great. I really hope I'm not... I really hope I gent my, my Gigalith right. Please don't be Sandrush. Sturdy. Okay, great. Um... So let's see, Gigalith is kind of useless in this game, I feel. So we can lead it and set rocks with it. I guess. Gigalith isn't good for anything on his team. I'm gonna lead Gigalith and set rocks, because I think rocks are kind of nice. I think that's a nice one, yeah. Um, Gigalith really doesn't have any purpose here. Except for like getting a Rocky Helmet Chip on maybe a Shadow Sneak or a Shadow Claw Excadrill. Or on a Lucha. Because it's Fizz Death as well, like it's not gonna do anything. Okay, that's too bad. Um, got like half one to Talon, once again. Um, let's see what he leads. Vaporeon, okay, that's uh, not great. I wanna see whether he Toxics. So I'm first gonna let him Scald, I guess. Wait, I have Toxic Mine, right? Do I want to Toxic this thing? Like, Gigalith is good, but like absolutely nothing. Absolutely nothing. So I'm just gonna Toxic this thing. Oh, my computer's making noises. Let me turn that off. Um, I am really just gonna Toxic this thing. Because that'll either force him to Heal Bell. I think he has Heal Bell. He flips hands, okay. Please don't go Aegislash. Slash. He gets ro her by Rocky Helmet, which is actually great. <laughs> um, so yeah. He has Flip Turn. So it's Flip Turn Scald. I don't think he has Heal Bell. Because he needs Wish Protect. Oh, this is huge actually. If I need anything Sleep Powdered, it's... Um, it's my Gigalith. Like, Gigalith. <laughs> Gigalith is actually useless this game. I think he'll click Knock Off actually as well. So I'm just gonna hit him with the uh, with the salt rock. Does he have removal even? Yeah, knock off. So that's gonna give him chip. Then I'm gonna set up the rocks. So we are we are doing quite well. Um, I think this thing is fizz death. I just want to see how much a Rock Blast is doing, because I'm actually, I need this thing for nothing. Like, for absolutely nothing. And nothing really wants to get slept or take a knockoff. So I'm just gonna Rock Blast. I don't think he has a Rocker either. So, um, Tornadoes wouldn't mind losing its boots. Neither would Moltres. Okay, he Giga Drains. That's fine. I might save it and go into Moltres right now. He's hit twice, he hits by, he's hit by poison. Which is all great. Um, I think I'm gonna pull a switch into um, Tornadus. I think Tornadus is actually really nice here. 
We can save the last sack. It did well. Uh, I probably should have switched out before the Giga Drain. Because um, it was, it was kind of obvious, wasn't it? Uh, I just really wanted to see what kind of damage we were doing. But we only hit twice. <laughs> we weren't doing any damage. Um, okay, Torn is coming in. Please don't knock up again. Giga Drain, okay, nice. I don't want to see a... Like, a knockoff wouldn't be bad, though. I don't need to uh, over, over exaggerate that. Um, okay, so he's getting chipped. He's regen, probably. So, um... I think a toxic. Should I toxic on the switch? Should I hurricane? Actually, I really want a toxic. Do I taunt? Actually, I don't want to taunt because I think Vaporeon comes in, right? Or the Rotom. Taunt is not bad here. Like, Rotom comes in, it's fine. A Toxic on this would have been nice. Uh, but I can't stay in. Let's go regen uh, Reuniclus. Uh, yeah, it's, it's AV regen Reuniclus. Um, so that's all fine to be fair. He can't trick or anything. Because he's taunted. Um, oh, I'm tired. Jesus. He discharges. He shouldn't do anything. Yeah, that's that's super nice. I'm gonna launch up a knockoff, I think. Yeah, knockoff is nice in nearly every scenario. Because we haven't knocked off anything yet. Uniclus being the bulky boy he is. Absolutely amazing. Um, I can see him go Vaporeon, I guess. We're gonna Thunder on the Vaporeon to see if he wants the Toxic. But he might like he might actually just flip turn on my my Uniclus. He didn't bring Nidhi King, he doesn't have any rockers, so I have default on Tornadoes for nothing. Oh, this is huge. This is nice. Is it Kolba? I can see being Kolba. Choice banned. Yes, let's go. Um, that's huge. Do we sack Gigalith? Um... I think we actually can really safely go Gigalith. This like keeping Moltres healthy is really in our interest because Moltres is one of the only things that can eat a hit from Haluchi. It's max fizz up. Um so if Haluchi gets a plus two, Moltres actually can take a hit. He shadow close, okay. That's fine, take my Gigalith. I really don't need it. And it did it did its work at this point, you know. Um, because we have rocks. And we got the Tangela poisoned. So, um because it is banned, like I don't want to catch a sneak on Coolgate. So I'm just gonna go uh Moltres and fire off a um fiery wrath, I think then. But he should go into the Aporium right now. But it's nice to at least gauge some damage on that. See what kind of set he is. Because it should be Spadef. Like, I think it's Spadef. Well, he's thinking about it, though. I don't know. It seems that the Switch is probably, like... He goes before He doesn't stay in. He's a mad lad if he stays in. <laughs> Uh, he goes before him, yeah. Okay, so... So I'm gonna go... Do I go Reuniclus again? Because that just gives him a switch into... Into what's it called again. Um, I think I go Reuniclus because if he... Wants a Toxics... Like, he could Toxic, right? And I really don't want to catch that on my Prim. But if he doesn't, I'm gonna switch into Primarina, I guess. 
Yeah, he talks six. He misses. Okay, that's huge, I guess. That's kind of nice. Um, because if Prim gets toxic, that's uh, that's annoying. I'm just gonna I'm gonna thunder actually, because he might wanna toxic again. He flip turns. Okay, do we see the Aegislash slash again? Because that like Aegislash slash is a problem. I shouldn't give him too many opportunities to actually go Aegislash. slash. Oh, my mic has been there the entire time. That's quite annoying. Here you go. Um, that's gonna stand weird, but yeah. We'll have to deal with that. Um, we do chip, you know, chip. Did we knock off an item on this already? No, let's just knock it off. <laughs> I think it might be boots. It is boots. He's gonna defog them. He does have a defogger, I completely missed that. Um, and we can't set up rocks anymore, so this knockoff is gonna be completely useless. Um, but that's all fine. Because what does Rotom really want to do against my Runiclus? Does it have Pain Split? Air Slash? This is going to do nothing. This is actually going to do 5. He's going to flinch me down. Okay. Um, that's not too bad unless he does it 20 times in a row. Because then we need to do some switching. Um, but until then, Runiclus is just here to put out some uh, nice damage onto the Rotom. Because unless it has pain split, it's not going to be able to recover it off again. Or rest, rest sleep talk, I guess, or just rest. Um, I can see the Aegis Slash again. Like, Aegis Slash is just quite a free switch in on the Reuniclus, unless he fears Shadow Ball, right? But I took Shadow Ball off of Thunder, because otherwise I can't deal with the Vaporeon. Um, Um, is there anything I really want to switch in on this? I have three months week to discharge and one <laughs> and one Gengar. So I'm just gonna Psychic again. Yeah. He actually withdraws. Do you see the Aegislash Slash again? Yeah. Um, that's annoying. Because I can't stay in. But at least we're getting chip, right? Um, we need to go... Yeah, we need to go this. Um, Halucha Endgame is looking really scary. Halucha Endgame is looking mighty scary. Iron Head. Okay, we should take that. Yes, okay, great. Um, he didn't wish on the Vaporeon, right? We're gonna Fiery Wrath. Um, because Vaporeon is kinda low, right? That's not really low. Um, I would have liked to knock this thing off. And um, the fact that it has Toxic is really problematic. It actually is. Because, um... That means I can't get Prim in on it safely. Ah, <laughs> Talon, please, come on, man. Open your eyes. Um... I'm just gonna psychic because he's probably gonna switch, right? Or isn't he? Nah, he's not gonna let his Vaporeon catch a Thunder. He really isn't. Um, yeah, he just flipped hands on me. Which is fair. I can see him go Rotom again. Uh, but it doesn't give him anything. I can see him go Aegis Slash again. But we're chipping it down, kinda, I guess. Um, it's not ideal. We're not in an ideal situation by any means. Um, Indeedy, okay. We're gonna get a nice Psychic Train boost at Psychic from uh, Reuniclus here. That's a decent chip. It's lefties. Okay. I don't think it's trick lefties. 
So I can kinda knock off here. Mystical fire, okay. That's nothing. Uniclus is being super good here. Nice. Another one should knock it out. Is that a crit? No, Ndidi is just really physically frail. It just is. Uh, I'm gonna knock up again. Because, like, even Aegislash doesn't really like switching into this hyper voice. It's not doing a lot. Um, I should switch Uniclus out of here, preferably anytime soon. To catch some uh, regen. We get rid of the Ndidi, which is great. Uh, don't show me Halucha. If he goes Halucha right now, I'm gonna stay in and Psychic, because I really can't afford anything uh, of this sort. And if he doesn't go Halucha, we can hopefully stall out the Psychic terrain. And then Halucha isn't as big of a threat as it was anymore. So please, like, if he goes Halucha, it's not too bad in this situation, because he's not going to get a free plus two, right? He's not going to get a free plus two. Okay, he goes this. I don't know exactly what it, like, what he wants to do. I'm just going to Thunder. It's not even, like, he can flip turn. Yeah, I need to switch this thing out anytime, really. Because I kinda like it's it's nice, right? It deals with Vaporeon really nice, it deals with Um Rotom really nice. Is this Bedef Rotom? Like it like it shouldn't have anything that KOs me, right? I can't switch anything in on a Rotom, that's the thing, right? Um, I'm gonna Psychic. A powerful para would be bad. Okay, uh, we need to switch Rotom uh, or Reuniclus out sometime. And if we can like, we can always switch it in on the Vaporeon. Um, so we can actually really farm some regen here. So let's see what he does. I can see him go Eager Slash. Slash finishes me off quite nicely. I go Moltres again and then I rest, I think. Unless he like like he just iron has right. Yeah. Okay, we need to switch out. We go into Moltres and we rest. Like Primarina is really good in this matchup, like it's stop calm mine Primarina. But as long as the Vaporeon has Toxic, I don't want to switch it in on it first turn. Because, um, like, if it gets Toxic, it can't sweep anymore, right? It can't sit behind the sub, uh, gain Lefty's health back, because it's going to lose all of it to Toxic again. So, preferably, my Primarina does not get Toxic. And I can get it, I can get it in for free somewhere. That's really, that's really what I'm aiming for. He's really thinking about this one. Does he have, like, what's it called? Head charge? It's called head charge, right? Charge? I don't know. The rock move. Head smash, yeah. That would be annoying. <laughs> it actually would be. I don't know if it would kill. It probably would, right? Okay, Aranet, all the way down to 64. Berserk is activated. Um, that's actually really nice, but I'm gonna rest. Yeah, I'm gonna rest. Okay, I can't be toxic because I'm asleep. So I am gonna burn a turn of sleep right now. I'm plus one special attack, so he should take at least a, a decent chunk from a fire wrath or air slash we might even flinch him in the process <laughs> um he might have ice beam 
Yeah, I use res, okay. That's fine. Skull is going to do all the way down to 155. Okay, um, this is the time I go Green Marina. Yeah, this is where I go Prim. Because he is, he's not going to Toxic this time, right? Please do not flip turn. Ah, oh, he flip turns, bro. That's super annoying. I could have stayed in with uh, Moltres. That's not what you want to see. This was happening right here. Um... He goes Tangela, okay, yeah, fair. Okay, um, I kind of go Moltres, right? I can kind of go this as well, because I don't care if I... Um... Yeah, I kind of go this. He hasn't showed Sleep Powder yet, and I don't know if he wants to click it. I think he just clicks Giga Drain. I'm gonna Toxic this turn. Because I think he goes for Porygon again, right? Okay. The Psychic Train is gone, by the way. Um, hooray. We're gonna Toxic. Because this thing shouldn't want to stay in. And I think it goes before him. Yeah. Okay, I'm going to switch in Rooney Plus to get some health back. Also go for a taunt. Um, I can actually go for a taunt really safely because I don't care if he flip turns. And if I go for taunt, he can't go for, for toxic. Yeah, he can't toxic, so I can actually go prim right here. I can actually go Prim. Please stay in. Please do not flip turn, man. I... I'd i hate to see that. Um... We're almost at full. Yeah, he just flip turns. Okay, getting in Prim is uh, proving to be more difficult than I thought it was. Um... Because what do you go in this? He goes Aegislash, okay? I go Moltres again. I think. Yeah, I just go Moltres again, I think. I burned one turn of sleep, right? I burned one turn of sleep. So I can... Yeah, because I only clicked uh, Sleep Top once. And... We got Rest. So I can actually click Sleep Talk here. His Shadow Claws, okay. Um, I can click Sleep Talk once. He goes into Halucha, super ballsy play. Holy. What if I get Air Slash? Yeah. Does this KO? It doesn't. But holy, that's a super ballsy play. I'm just gonna click Air Slash. Because I'm fizzed up, I should live most of the things this thing wants to throw at me. So I'm actually gonna click Air Slash. They shouldn't KO, but if it flinches, it's annoying. Plus we got a Berserk boost. Yeah, okay, we get rid of the Lucha. 
Great job, Moltres. Moltres is being super valuable here. I didn't get to bring in any of the other weeks because I, like, I had just had so many more months that would fit better on a team. But Moltres is doing actually really nice. Um, so what does he have left, Vaporeon? I can rest all this thing because I'm plus one, right? Um, yeah, I can rest. Because what, do do, what does he want to do against me? He can't toxic me. He can scald. Does he have, did he even show scald? He can flip turn. Yeah, he can scald. I can actually uh, farm Berserk boosts here. Which is really, which is really evil, but I can actually do that. Because Vaporeon should not be able to break a, a sleep talk Moltres. Okay, one turn of sleep. We get Air Slash. Okay, decent. Oh, my bad. Okay, second turn of sleep. Fiery Wrath, okay. Please don't flinch, I, I'm gonna feel really bad if I flinch again. So, that's a crit. Okay, I'm really sorry for the axe, my man, at this point. Because uh, that's unfortunate. Um... What does he have left? Aegislash, Tangela. They all don't want to deal with um, with Moltres, to be fair. I can just fight Wrath on this turn. Fire Wrath, okay. Let's go, because this should KO, right? Okay, yeah. We pick up the Aegislash. Moltres! Holy! I, I, knew, I knew this set was decent this game. But I didn't know it was actually gonna put in so much, like so much work. Um, I think I air slash right. I think I almost always air slash here because even if he sleeps me, he doesn't have anything that breaks me. A suit? Does that just KO? Okay, that just KOs. Moltres is actually wow. Okay, I. Okay. Like, I knew Moltres was decent this match, but I didn't know it was actually gonna clean up this nicely. Okay, GG to Talon, man. Uh, Moltres, proving to be a really valuable uh, team member, even though it only came once. Um, GG, man. Um, I didn't know this set was gonna do that well. Um, yeah, not getting in Halucha in Psychic Summon was huge for me. Like, even if you would have KO'd my um, Moltres here, then I always would have had Gengar to revenge it. Um, so that was super, super good for us. Um, yeah, I think the team did well. Reuniclus was a pain for him to deal with. Um, sleep Talk, Arrest Sleep Talk Moltres was a pain for him to, do, uh, to deal with. Um, we dealt with Aegislash Slash pretty well, like, Ban was the, the most annoying set, because then it would, like, do damage to my, uh, what's it called? To my Moltres, but we knocked it off immediately with Runiclus, so that was amazing. Uh, Primarina did not get to shine at all, like, Subcommon Pre Sub Primarina was actually super good right here, but because they had Toxic and Flip Turn, I just could not get it in, uh, safely on the Vaporeon, because then, like, you get a, you get a free sub, you get a free Carmine, um, but yeah. So the team did really well. I think we got a 5 0, right? Um, super solid win. GG to Talon once again. Um, sorry for the misunderstanding because, uh, like, he actually was really helpful in still playing today because uh, he thought it was tomorrow, but he got his team gen and then played me. So, Talon, thank you. You're a G. You're an amazing dude. Please go check him out. He's uh, He makes primarily draft content and he just has super funny, really chill commentary. He's like one of the chillest dudes I've met. 
playing uh, like draft Pokemon. So uh, please go check him out. His link will be in the description together with all the other coaches' links to their channels. So uh, please go check them all out. I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you enjoyed Moltres. Um, if you did, please don't forget to like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one. Peace.